Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Weebly for Education and how you can use it to create a simple blogging platform with your students. So you'll find it at education.weebly.com. And I already have my account created. I'm going to sign in. And you'll see here I have uh, one that's already made. Uh, I'm going to add a new site. And we'll choose our theme. Now, as it states here, you can easily change it at any point. I'm going to choose a blog theme. And I'll use this simple sights and sounds template. All right, now we're going to use a subdomain of Weebly.com because that's free. And we'll call this one Mr. Burns Classroom. And click Continue. Now, we want to change anything on this site. Just click on it. We'll call it Our Classroom Blog. Now we don't have any blog posts yet. So let's go ahead and down here in the bottom right corner, we'll see new posts. And let's give this a title. We'll call it Welcome to Our Blog. And now we'll add some text. So let's go ahead and drag that text element in and start writing our text. Let's see. Welcome to our classroom blog. Right, now, if I wanted to add more to this, if I want to add a picture, just go ahead and click and drag. and We now have a place to upload a picture. And I can choose a picture from my computer, or I can go and link to one, or do a search for one. Okay. So I'll add that picture into this blog post. And now when I'm ready, let's go ahead and click post. And now let's publish the entire site. And so now our site is viewable at that web address. And we can see the basics of our classroom blog. Now, all of these elements we see on the right-hand side can be customized at any point by just hovering over them and changing them. Now, down here in our blog settings, we have the options for turning on or off sharing buttons, choosing the commenting system we want to use. We can require approval for our comments. Select the comments close after 30 days, put in spam protection and moderation, and we can get new notifications of any new comments. Now, back here, let's go in and take a look at my students. We can add students to our account. You'll see we have up to 40 students available. And it will set a default username 
and a default password. And I, as a teacher, can reset those for the student. Now my student can log into Weebly using that account and password that I've created for her. Now back here on our classroom blog, we can always go in and see comments. We can make a copy of the site. And we can also edit the site at any time. Again, we can change our settings there. Choose all of our options. To add in an editor. So we can invite our students to become editors on the site as well. So that's how you can get started using Weebly for Education to create simple classroom blogs and websites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.